I'm joined with Jack Shaw. I can't say champ now. You relinquished <laughs> the title, so we've got to take that away, which is a shame. But you're starting back up. It's, it's like a fresh start again. You're, you're starting at the kind of bottom of the rankings and working your way up to the top of a new title uh, kind of challenge. Uh, but it's with the UFC. Jack, that's pretty special. Madness. That is. Uh, when did you find out then? Like, obviously, did you get the phone call? Were you with your dad? Were you where? What were you doing when you got a call to UFC? <clears throat> so it's a funny story. We was uh, so cut a long story short. I was I was away with my girlfriend for the week after the Malone fight, and um, Graham let us know that they that they express express a bit of interest. Uh, but he said you, you just leave it with me. These things take a bit of time. So we come home on the Saturday. And we went to uh, cinema to watch a film. So like 20, 20 minutes left of this film, now my phone's ringing and ringing, and I thought, who's, who's, who's keep ringing me now? So I checked my phone, it was my old man, so I kept the client in it, and I texted him, I said, stop ringing me, I'm in the cinema. And uh, he, he said, you need to, need to go on WhatsApp straight away. And uh, Graham had, had posted him on WhatsApp there with me and him that, uh, that they were interested and that the contract was, uh, was coming through. It, it took a couple of weeks after that to obviously get the paperwork and stuff, but um, it, 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 it was pretty much a done deal then, obviously. Um, they, I had a ball they booked to Mexico. They, they to start with. They wanted me to fight. I think it was August, so I, I would have possibly had to, to knock that on the head. But um, <laughs> it, they come come back to us and said, "No, we're going to keep you for the the Copenhagen card." So it's been a a whirlwind couple of months. But uh, we we we're here now, and we we're good, and we're ready to go. I know. In the end, you got yourself an opponent in Hernandez, who's uh, a very very game opponent. He's uh, full on the feet. Uh, he's he brings a lot to the table. So. You've got yourself a, a really nice opponent here to go up against for your debut. He's, he's got a good set of skills on himself. Yeah, he's very good. You know, good good level. Comes from a good gym, like you said, good striker. But you know, he's decent everywhere in all fairness. So it's it's a nice nice clash of styles. And it's it's I look at it as a fight. You know, that's gonna help me show how good I am. Then you know, rather than you know, sometimes people get thrown to the wall straight away or, or, or they get someone who, who is not a lot of good who's just in the off the back of a contender series or an ultimate fight there. Whereas this one's nice, I think. It's, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll show what level I'm at. And uh, I was going to say, because Marshman's just got a fight down in Brazil, hasn't he, as well? So, like, literally, you've got yours now and he's just got, he's just announced his one down in Brazil. So, it's all systems go at your gym. Yeah, I think, it was like seven or eight weeks, I think, till Jax. Yeah, um, yeah. Out in Sao Paulo. We was out there two years ago, actually, two years ago to pretty close to the date. So um, it's come back full circle, and, he, and he's off on his travels again. So it's a nice, nice to see Jack back in there as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and uh, how how was the reaction with your dad finding out? Obviously, when it gets, when it actually is an official, you know, the, the interest is good, but when it, you need to get the pen on paper, your dad yeah. obviously with your career being there. That's how was that emotion with your dad? I imagine he was a bit uh, touched. Yeah, he, he, I think he was more excited than me. He was uh, <laughs> he, he was bouncing off the walls. He, he even had a, I think he, he was away with my mother when uh, the contract came through, and he, had, he even had a bottle of wine. And uh, he doesn't drink because he's he's uh, he's a baby with hangovers. He, he has he has four pints, and he can't go out. He can't leave the house for two days because he's everywhere. <laughs> so for him to drink a bottle of wine, he must be pretty excited. So um, yeah, he was over the moon. Obviously, all my other coaches were buzzing as well. I. Uh, it was tough. I couldn't couldn't tell the the boys at the gym obviously until it was officially announced. Mm. So it was tough keeping it a secret from them all. But um, obviously we we were we were all over the moon. It was life lifetime of hard work uh, and graft and and you know I, not that this is the end goal, but this is something we've always dreamed of. So to be here now is is looking back on it. It's uh, it's all paid off. Yeah, it's the next chapter. It's the next phase, isn't it? It's just you know moving on to stages and obviously like we said, amateur got. Got that nailed. Got you ironed out some creases in your skill set. You gone up to the pro ranks. You went down to thirty five in the pro ranks, and all of it's kind of working in stages, and, and it's all coming along. I think as the, you know, your last few fights, you really amplified the kind of skill set you've been rounding off. You know, you, everyone knew you had the kind of grappling aspect, uh, but you, you know, you and Gary Lockett, you know, the, the hands are just. You know, you just see the confidence starting to come with your jabs and your crosses, and that's accumulation of time, like you said, a lifetime of work. You must be feeling a lot. You must have felt a lot more confident as well in the fights, the past few fights in the hands. Yeah, definitely. Since, since um, even since the Von Lee fight onwards, mm. um, obviously everyone knew me as a as a good grab. I know I had the the knockout just before the Von Lee fight, but everyone sort of still seen me as this grappler, uh, wrestler, and then obviously. 
to mix it with Von Lee, who's as good as he is on the feet. And then, you know, my last fight, I, I outstruck Malone on the feet as well. So it, it's nice to show that I can do it all. And I've got a world-class boxing coach in Gary Lockett and a world-class Thai coach as well in um, Crew Heem, who, who's over, you know, used to be the, the, the pad man at AKA Thailand, the head Thai coach. So I'm working with him now weekly. Um, and it's just all coming together nice now. I, I, you know, I'm one of those, I like to get better between every fight. I don't like to... You know, the, my next fight is I always want to be a better version of myself compared to the last fight, and I feel like I've got that good a team around me now. I'm that I'm capable of doing that constantly from fight to fight. There's always a constant improvement. I'm never stood still, you know, never going backwards skill wise. Yeah, and it seems that you know Tillery's just grown, you know, pumping out talent. Wales as a whole, it's just a plethora of talent just coming all the way through the ranks, you know. And uh, you're just another Welsh name added to that list in the UFC, so it really shows. Um, but have you, obviously, with the kind of Welsh flag, they got the Rugby World Cup going on with Wales. Have you been paying any attention to that? They've been doing all that? Yeah, not a massive rugby fan, but I, I, I watched their the game. When was it? Um, was it Monday or Tuesday they played? That was Monday. And, uh, and, and, they, and they looked good. So, uh, fingers crossed, you know, if they can win the World Cup, I can get a win you. And then Marshall gets a win in Brazil, and that's a big, uh, a big end of the year for Welsh sport. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, we all get behind our own. Like I said, I'm not a massive rugby fan, but I always take note of the Welsh games, and uh, I get a lot of support online as well off the off the international boys, you know, um, Ross Moriarty and all that. So they they a good bunch of boys as well. So I wish them the best, and uh, hopefully they can bring it home. Yeah, well, they are definitely in, in with a shot. They're on fantastic form. They are really Wales are one of the top teams to look out for. I'm absolutely enthralled by it. Uh, let's look at though. Now I've got to ask you a serious question. <laughs> what is going on with Noel Gallagher? Come on. Like, <laughs> Mate, what is all that? What's, what is with his attitude? Like, I tell you, I've started, he's turned into a heel. It's like WWE wrestling, right? He's a, he's a sour man, and he's getting. I think he, uh, I think for years, like we, we was obviously making music, and Liam went a bit off the scene. I think he doesn't like now that the, uh, the attention is shifting. Like, you see him ripping Lewis Capaldi. How can you rip Lewis Capaldi? <laughs> he's, like, he's a proper funny, nice guy. Like, so, no one needs to chill out a bit and lighten up. I think. Yeah, especially like that song by Liam, One of Us. I can't, mate, I can't even make it through the music video. I can't do it. I haven't got it in me. I break. You know what I mean? I can handle Bambi, Terminator 2 when he goes into the lava. I'm fine with that. Oh, I can handle Frozen. I can handle all these soft movies. But you put that video in front of me, I'm a broken man. I can't even get to the end. I switch off. Oh, no, I can do it. It's emotional. I've only watched it once or twice. I think I'll uh, leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, it is. A lot of dust in the room. A lot of dust here, folks. Oh, Someone's cutting onions. Yeah, it's killing me. I'm like, just... No, just suck it up, be a man, Get on with it. accept your family, and then I'm not doing, I'm not saying it for me, but it would be nice if you did another gig, and I might go to it again. But, uh, yeah. you know, it's just, it's, oh, it's crippling me. Absolutely. When he stood on stage, David Grohl couldn't get on the stage and suck my dick. I'm like, oh, what the, what's he on about? Uh, he's, oh. he, he, needs to, he needs to just lighten up a bit, I think, doesn't he? Goes, he does. He, I think your dad needs to go and have a chat with him. Tell him that's all about him. I mean, it's, it's oh, you'd, be the guy, you'd be the guy for the job. Yeah. <laughs> He'd bring him round, I'm sure. <laughs> I reckon he would. <laughs> so, look, so like you said, you, you're always developing. You're always doing stuff. Uh, have you just treated this fight camp like your last one and the one prior? Because even though it's the UFC, a lot of people, for example, let's take uh, like Mark Diacasey, he came in, did well, but then he went to like ATT and thought he needed to change everything up because he had to go to America. But it's starting to show that he came back to the UK and things actually worked out better. Jan Blakovic was a, another one. He went back to his old stomping grounds, brought back his original form. Oh, obviously, you've got Marshman in there as a great example. You know, he's done... Yeah. He's ahead of... He's a few chapters ahead of you, sort of speaking the game. So, is this something that you just kind of went, just keep it what we're doing. We don't need to do anything exceptionally special. It's working. It's a winning formula. It's not broken. So, why try to fix it? Yeah, that's it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, um, my last couple of fights, I, I feel like... I fought tougher boys in the last couple of fights than some people fight in, in the UFC. So, um, you know, we, we're doing something right, obviously. We, we got a formula that works between me and my coaches. I get, you know, the right attention I need and the right effort and time print to me from my coaches. But I think a lot of people go to these big gyms and a lot of the time you just tend to be another body and another sparring partner for the for the top boys. Um, so, yeah, I've... I've Treated this just like I've treated every other fight. And I've had great rounds in. I've had Brett Johns have been up twice a week, every week pushing me. Fantastic. You know, obviously my teammates as well, uh, Josh Reed, uh, Jordan Peake, Oban Elliott have, have been pushing me every, every day in the gym. 
and it's, it's just one of them, you know, you've got, you've got to have that faith in your team and in your coaches. Um, you know, I'm, I'm 100% confident that every one of my coaches got my best interest at heart. You know, they're not, they're not going to put their name to me for, for the sake of doing it, you know, and uh, I think we've all got a good working relationship and that's why it works so well. You know, we've been successful right the way from the amateurs up to the pros, so, you know, why, why change it now? Exactly, mate, I was going to say, you've got a slight advantage in the fact that, you, you know, you know, when you're coming over and you've helped like Jack Marshman corner and stuff like that, you know exactly what's going on right now. You've done this is your first time competing, but you know what it's like to see what what my, like for example Jack had to do in the past, where the media obligations, the the kind of uh, checking ins and stuff like that. So it's not something new to you. So you're go, you're not going in there a little bit wide eyed, like oh my gosh, this is completely different. You're a bit. You're probably. I imagine you'd be a little bit more relaxed in say someone who had come in the first time or something. Yeah, exactly. That's that's definitely you know been a no. I don't don't know an advantage, but it's been nice that I I knew what to expect. You know, turning up fight week, I knew, I knew the the deal with the checking in, and, and then obviously the day doing all the media and, and the photos and stuff. I knew all that was coming, so it's been nice to sort of we had, we had a, a week pre uh, sorry pre planned, and we and we worked our training and our and our cooking and stuff like that, and it, it, in all around that. So it, it hasn't been a stressful week. You know, it's been nice and relaxing. To be honest, I find it easier. Being away from home and in an hotel when it comes to fight week, there's no, no distractions. You know, you you miss your your family and 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 the misses, you know. But other than that, you know, the gym and the sauna and, and everything's under one roof. The the UFC they've been good as gold well, since since we arrived yesterday. You know, anything you need is it's one of those. It's like don't hesitate to ask. We'll 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 get it for you. And uh, that's what they've done since we got here. You know, they can't do enough for you. And you, you know, it, it does generally feel. You know, although everyone knows that this is sort of the Premier League of MMA. When you arrive, that's how it feels. You know, everything is done for you, and they want to make your life as easy as possible. They just want you worrying about the fight, which is, you know, per- perfect for a, a fight that's got a lot on their mind. Fight week. Yeah, exactly. That is the thing, and I suppose, like, say, because your dad's there, you can kind of talk to your dad. Obviously, he knows he knows you very well, so he'll be able to read your body language at any point during the week. If you're, if you know, anxious, you're nervous, you're excited, you if you're high, you you'll be able to read it. So you'll be able to know what to do. Maybe on a pad work, you might be able to know bring it down and peg or bring it up. So everything kind of smooth so far. Yeah, definitely. Like like you said, we, my dad and Carl's out here. I mean, now Gary's coming out Friday, and they all they all know me very well. So you know, if we get into a stage in a session where where they need to slow it down a bit and they will like t- today we done a session this afternoon and I, I was full of energy so we had mm. the pace a little bit and you know I didn't have to tell them to do it. it it was just they did it off instinct and body language and it's it's, it's all gone smoothly you know um, luckily we didn't have no delays or anything yesterday I know John Phillips missed his flight so um, <laughs> it, I, I thought I could, could have been worse I know he missed his flight and had to come a bit later but um, yeah it's all been smooth like I said the uh, everything they set you up to do the schedule's bang on they're never behind if they are behind, then they sort of. If you gotta go off and do do your own thing, that's what you gotta do. Like, um, for example, yesterday uh, they asked me how do I cut weight, sauna or bath. So I said the sauna, and they said the sauna will be open on Thursday. Is that early enough for you, or do you want us to to get it open from today? So it's one of them. You know, they really they really do make the week go nice and smooth and nice and, nice and keep you nice and chill. No, not not get worked up about things that you can't control. Yeah, you're not running around. Yeah, that's in, it. in a place no you've never been, trying to speak a language you don't speak. Trying to find something you don't know what where it is. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. It's nice and calm. Like everything's organised. Uh, like t- today, then they've had shuttles on the supermarket for all the fighters to to get their stuff for for their diet and obviously post post weight cut, post weigh in. So mm-hmm. there's none of that. Whereas you know when you're at home, sometimes if I was at home now, my my old man and Carl would be in work until until Saturday. So yeah. it'd be a matter of running around sorting these things up for myself. Whereas you, you know, it's all done for me. It's uh, it's like living it's like living the dream apart from you know night and Eat them what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like them too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, it sounds honestly fantastic. It's going well. UFC Copenhagen. The card itself is pretty sick, to be honest with you. When you look at the fight cards, there's some absolutely cracking bouts on it. Uh, you get to make your debut. It's the start of a chapter. Jack, it's exciting times, man. It is exciting times. <laughs> it definitely is. It's, uh, it's another another chapter in the book, so they, uh, that's what they say. So um, I'm just looking forward to... Um, to get the ball rolling, obviously it's been a long time coming, and, and now we get the step on our stage and, and show what we're all about, and, and again put, up, put that small town app Larry on the map once more. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, yeah, people start to know where you're from, and that gym's going to get bigger and bigger and grow, man. As more people coming out from it. And uh, before I let you go, though, buddy, 
give a shout out to your sponsors, your social media platforms, and obviously you, anyone who wants to uh, you know go to your gym or anything like that, give a shout out to your gym and stuff like that, man. Yeah, so honestly, shout out to all the guys at Tuleri Combat, my training partners, um, my coaches, Richard Shaw, Carl Parker, Gary Lockett, Crew Heem, uh, Greg Carlo. Uh, shout out to John Williams as well, who's done my nutrition for this fight, you know, got me in great shape. Uh, also, we, I'll plug this one in, we're opening, um, me and my old man, we, we, we took on a bigger facility, we're opening a new gym, uh, Shaw MMA Centre of Excellence, that's coming now in November. You know, it'll still be Tuleri Combat Fight Team, but uh, it's going to be a facility that's, that's on a par with with any of the gyms you've seen in America. You know, that's how it looks. So, if you if you're local, come down and check that out. And, and obviously, big thanks to all my sponsors. As well. I got a lot to name, so I won't do them individually. So I'll forget <laughs> and get in trouble. But they're all over my social media. You know, on my Instagram, my my story, my Facebook. Get on there and and. Uh, check them out and, and support them, give them a like. Obviously, they've been good to me and, and helped me get to where I am. I couldn't do it without any, any any of them. So, can't thank them enough either. And Oh, and thanks to my, my mother, my sister, my girlfriend as well, all my friends, my family, all, all the boys are coming over. There's about 200 people coming over to watch. So, uh, look look forward to uh, to doing it all proud Saturday. Ah, so we'll be hearing... Da, 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 da. <laughs> you, 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 you'll know when it kicks in. <laughs> yeah, we'll know when, not just the music people, the crowd as well, trust me, when, it goes, when Jack comes in, you know it's good. Mate, honestly, have a fantastic time. Enjoy the rest of the week, obviously. Uh, enjoy the fight. And, uh, man, have a great time in Copenhagen. Top, man. Cheers, John. Appreciate it.